Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. I have a trumpet with a stuck main tuning slide and when you have a stuck tuning slide the first thing you do is you inspect it and see what's wrong. First thing I'm going to note for all the evidence I can, it's not that old, it's in fairly good condition other than that. It has a few dents, nothing serious and it's Yamaha and there are no dents in the slide tube so my guess is going to be calcium buildup between the inner and outer slide tubes. Another thing to look for on main tuning slides is which one or both of the slides are stuck. So you just pull on it, see if it moves at all, and the bottom one's moving, top one's not moving. So just the top one's stuck. So in general, if just one is stuck, it's probably not quite as stuck as it would be if both were stuck. So it's pro this probably will not be that hard of a job. Before you try anything else, just put some penetrating oil on it. And then, and then heat it up a little bit, try to draw in the penetrating oil as much as possible. And also another important thing, on this trumpet there are no braces here. Uh, you can see that this trumpet has one brace, and this one has two. So that, that is going to make a difference here. Since this trumpet has no braces, it's going to flex easier. So, so you can kind of twist it back and forth. You want to be very careful you don't do any damage, because you can do damage when you do this, if you do it too vigorously. But if you're careful, you should be able to get it out. Now just use a gentle twisting motion. And since this one doesn't have the braces, you can twist with it. Okay, and then just watch and listen. Don't go very far, just tiny little twists. Because you can do damage if you're not careful here. And then start, start pulling as you go. Let's see here. And I don't see this one coming out at all. It didn't seem to come loose with a gentle twisting, so I'm going to try the next thing. Next I'm going to use a tuning slide pliers, and there are three different sizes. There's one for trumpet, baritone, and tuba. You take the pliers, put it on the slide tube, and put it right up to the ferrule, and then you adjust the screw so that you don't squeeze it too hard and make a mess. I actually don't like using this technique very much because you can, you can mar it up. One thing you can do to help it not get marred is you don't do like this, like this. You make sure it's square on there because if you do it at an angle you're going to really mess things up. So just do that and then tap it lightly. And if you have someone to hold on to the trumpet for you or if you just hold on to it with your elbow that can help too. Then keep an eye on it, see if the slide is moving at all. Then also check to see if you're doing any damage. If you are you want it to stop but it's okay here. However, the slide is not coming out. This is a different trumpet, but if the trumpet did have the brace here, like this one, one thing you can do is take the slide pliers, put it on there, and take a drumstick, put it there, then take a second drumstick, and put it between there, and then just use the leverage, like that. And that almost always pulls it out. But you have to be very careful. Remember to keep the pliers square on the slide. To get the leverage, just move the, uh, the drumstick. Do not move this. And also be careful because you can bend these if you're not careful. So if you see anything going wrong, stop immediately. And if the trumpet has two braces, you can use three drumsticks. One, two, and three. And then just use leverage to open it up. If both of these were stuck instead of just one, you just want to loosen up one. Uh, just pop one loose just a little bit and then pop the other one loose. Since that's not an option on this trumpet I'm going to have to do a little unsoldering. So I'm going to take the water key off and I'm taking this off so I just don't burn the cork. Okay that's off. I'm going to unsolder right here since this side is loose I'm going to push this slide in and get it out of the way. So just I'm going to heat this up I'm going to heat that up just enough to loosen up the solder and then I'm going to push that in. This slide tube is in, now I'm just going to get a little leverage so that I can twist that loose. The slide has sat for a minute and it's cooled off now. Yep, yeah, I can touch it. So now I'm just going to use a little leverage and this should take it right out. Let's see. Is it moving? Yep, there it is. It's coming out. You can hear it. And once you hear that sound, it's a very good sound. You just work it for a minute. It takes a little patience because 
A lot of times it doesn't come straight out. You need to just work it for a while. But once you hear that sound, you've won the battle. And remember, just a little twist and not using a lot of force, just using, uh, you're using finesse and not force. If you do it too hard, you can easily twist this side tube. You don't want to do that. And as I'm doing this, I'm pulling also because you want it to come out rather than just twist back and forth in there. See how that's moving just a little bit? And then just keep pulling. Okay, now it's coming out a little more. Yeah, there we go. I like that. And there it is. And you can see the lime deposits and the, the gunk build up on there. And that's why it was stuck in the first place. So pull that slide out. The slide is unstuck, but it's in two pieces, so I'm going to have to solder that back together. To see how to solder slide tubes, look for the link in the description below. As for this repair and any other repair, uh, if you're not comfortable, don't try it. Just take it to your repair shop. And if at all possible, find a junk instrument to practice on first. That way, if you do any damage, it won't really matter. And also, it will give you more confidence if you try it on your instrument. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video has been helpful for you.